Welcome to Two Minute Tuesday. My name's Daryl Labar, and I'm here to give some developer tips today, or a developer tip today. Let's start the countdown. So my tip for developers is those that are wanting to do test-driven development or even just straight unit testing within CRM, uh, within C Sharp and their plugins. So if you're brand new to CRM, uh, the first thing you're going to do is use standard uh, faking uh, framework, like maybe MS Fakes. And that works okay, except it's really, really hard to fake the iRization service and the plugin interface itself. There's lots of different uh, interfaces you have to work with in order to get that to work. And the other issue is there's lots of things that you don't catch. Like if you're querying a attribute that doesn't exist, you've got the name spelled wrong, you've got the wrong type. Uh, those types of catches you, you aren't going to catch. So what uh, my tip for today is that you use a CRM-specific unit testing framework. Uh, there's one I've created, it's been around for a while, called XRM Unit Test. And there's another one out there that's called Fake XRM Easy, and that's by Jordi Montagna, another MVP like myself. Uh, the advantage to Jordi's framework is that it doesn't require you to have early bound types. Uh, the advantage to my framework is uh, it allows you to do a little bit more ease of creating the data that's required and uh, auto cleanup of the data that's required, especially if you're wanting to do any sort of integration testing with the real live version of CRM where you can make sure other plugins that are firing or other things that are happening in your system aren't affecting your test as well. So those are my two frameworks that you need to really have to look at. And if you aren't using early bound, go ahead and look at the early bound generator within the XRM toolbox. It's just a wrapper over the CRM service util, which comes in the SDK from Microsoft. And it's just a way to look at your organization and generate your types so that way you don't ever have a error that you don't catch when you're deploying it, you actually get to catch it at compile time. So, see you next week.